and it's the local representative supporter who is two years older, three inch shorter, but enters the octagon with a two inch reach advantage. Now it's over to Andy Friedlander with the official introductions. Next, ladies and gentlemen, in the octagon, three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist. He has a flawless professional record of 10 wins and no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall and weighed in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Lutz, Poland, Pavel Pavlik. And introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A national Brazilian jiu-jitsu champion. A professional record of 13 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall and weighed in at 170 pounds from Poland. Fighting out of Gieslingen, Germany, Peter Zapata. When the action begins, the referee in charge of the octagon, Mr. Leon Roberts. So Leon Roberts is the third man in the octagon. Papi on the line, Peter, Papi on the line. We're okay, all right back, scheduled right for three five-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Okay, first round, you ready to fight? You ready to fight? Bring it on, come on. We have Pavel Pavlak in the white, Peter Sabota in the red shorts. Born to Polish parents, but very much grown up in Germany, is Zapata. And he has a strong following here at the O2 World. Let's see if that Octagon experience pays off in some way, Johnny. Uh, he looks a lot more confident in than I've seen him before, and much more aggressive with his striking as well. I think the confidence is definitely in his hands. That would be a fair assessment, Dan. And he's going to use that to set up. Oh, we can hear the Polish contingent answering back as well. Polish fans of mixed martial arts. They do love it across the border. Nice combination there from Sabota. There's yeah, some quality work from Sabota early. Some good low kicks that he's already landed. Very tough assignment for Pavlak. Nice body one that he was well. very keen to get involved in. And the multi-time German submission wrestling and BJJ champion is happy just to keep this one standing. We can clearly see Sabot has been working on his striking since the last Ooh. time in the UFC. Really nice body kick again. Yeah, thudded that one home. Havlak just hasn't found his ranges yet. Just doesn't seem to have quite settled down just yet. Fell short with that uh, that straight right just there. Orthodox versus Southpaw as well. Might pose a, a few problems there for the Orthodox fighter. Especially if he's a bit more green. True, very true. And that body kick is finding its target. That's it a weapon for well. both. Yeah, you, you've got to remember that that's a weapon for both guys. You know, a southpaw and an orthodox facing each other. They both have the same weapons available, but from the opposite sides. But Peter Sabot is really making the most of that uh, that back leg uh, body kick at the moment. Sabot has been very comfortable as an ambassador for mixed martial arts in Europe, particularly here in Germany. Really enjoying that role. Oh, and there's a head kick. Beautiful. Well mixed up there. He's the head coach of the Planet Eater Gym in Germany. Pavlik pushing forward, but Peter Sabot is really establishing that jab quite well. He's keeping control of the range and sneaking some things around the side as well. There's a nice, uh, nice right hook he keeps using. There's the body kick again. See a little blood coming from the nose of, uh, of Pavlak. I wonder what that shot was that, that landed that caused that. 
this is an entirely different Peter Sabotis to what I've seen before, John. I uh, shared the card with him last time we were in Germany as well, and uh, he had a hell of a fight, and every one of his fights was, was a tough one, but I've not seen him this confident and this... Uh, this well versed in striking before. This is this is a, a, a really good, uh, a really really well improved Peter Sabato. It'll be interesting to see if he can uh, if he can work, make this striking work for him, or if he's going to get the finish on the floor tonight. Well, he's certainly buoyed by being at home here in Berlin, or certainly in Germany. And he's having a lot of success with his strikes. I didn't predict. So much of this fight to be played out in these ranges as Pavlak got off a good one for himself there. Yeah, it was a cheeky left hook that he landed just there, but Peter Zabotti didn't seem to be uh, too phased by it. There's that jab again. It may have been that that, uh, that caused the problem with Pavlik. Pavlik's nose. It's, it's landing quite consistently. Oh, trip. Gets his balance again. Very good. Butter looking to nail Pavlak with the right hand, but Pavlak seeming to get a little stronger as we get deeper in the round. Fighters from Poland have built very sturdy indeed, Dan. Very strong mixed martial arts scene there. I've been doing a, a lot of interviews with Poland at the moment. It seems to be quite a, quite a scene that's developed out there. Hopefully the UFC can visit soon and, uh, and make the most of them. Good first round, really good. Yeah, this way. Und atmen. Alles großartig. Schön atmen. Like Peter Zabotti clearly established his dominance on that round. Ganz luft raus. We see Dean Lister and Andreas Kraniatakas, the sparring partner of Peter Zabotti in the corner. Sobald du aufgehört hast zu kicken, ist es ihm schwerer gefallen. Es ist ihm leichter gefallen. When you stand bleibst, Dean Lister's been in there up. at the very highest level, Dan. It's going to yeah. be a good man to have in your corner. I, I can't imagine Dean Lister would come and corner anybody that he didn't have uh, full faith in. He's, uh, he obviously knows that, uh, that Peter Sabota has got the potential to do well in, in the UFC, otherwise he wouldn't, have, uh, he wouldn't have been volunteering here. And as you can see, he established that body kick really well and then went high. Didn't have a lot of success with it, but you can see Pavlik still responding to that, that uh, body kick. And there is always a potential that he's going to go high again and, uh, and land that kick. And Sabata urging on the German fans to get behind him here Robert. in the O2 world, and it's worked. Huge crowd noise here. Okay, second round, you ready to fight? You ready to fight? Bring it on, come on. John Gooden, Dan Hardy in the commentary booth for this fascinating encounter with the home fighter, our first German representative of the evening. Lots still ahead here on Fight Pass, and we've been treated to some really exciting action thus far. So that body kick again there. Oh, and there's his first takedown of the fight, and he gets it really nice. This is Peter Sabota's world, I would say, John. Comfortable looking for a guard pass already. He's got half guard. Like how he's elevating that leg to keep his opponent flat on his back. That's a very, very clever move. Yeah, he's really keen to get strapped up with the black belts. He's been a brown for a while. Dean Lister's out here tonight. I'm just wondering if he does manage to lock in a submission, whether he's going to get one draped over his shoulders. Should back in the head. Well, should back Pavlik's in the head. done a great job of causing him some issues uh, passing the guard. As you can see, he's just recovered guard, landed a couple of elbows there. But Oh, and there we go with mission control again. Really, really good at controlling your opponent's upper body. Let's go. Just had a couple of inverted triangle finishes from Pavel Pavlak. So he is capable of securing a submission. And an unusual submission at that. Yeah, you don't see many of those in mixed martial arts competition. Sabata staying busy on top, landing some short hooks to the body and head. It's always nice to see when a, a guy is forced to leave the organization and goes, goes away and, and puts the work in and comes back much better, like we're seeing tonight. Absolutely right. And we're seeing him in all of his motivated self. Zabata's still working for that guard. Watch pass. those elbows. Keep them clean. Keep those elbows clean. 
paddle up being warned about the elbows there. It's, it's very, very difficult when uh, when the opponent's moving their head constantly. Obviously, he's not it's aiming for the change. back of the head, but uh, sometimes it's, it's just circumstantial, unfortunately. And again, really good. I'm only half guard recovery, but still, still halting the progress of Peter Zabota moving forward. Yeah, Pavlak under the Gracie Baja Association, synonymous with the highest level of grappling. As he gets his, pretty much gets his guard back with one butterfly hook. Really good, really good fluid hit movement. Another warning there for Pavlak about the elbows. There won't be many more of those before a, a point is deducted. But to stay nice and active in these ranges, Dan. It's this, oh, almost got a guard past that. Again, Public doing such a good job of slowing his opponent down. It's a real dilemma, though, when you're in there and you've, you've been outstruck and then your opponent takes you to the ground and, and at, at, the, at that time you can't, uh, you can't do anything on the ground either. It's going to be really interesting to see what he's going to do to, to try and turn this fight around. Oh, the Jake heel Bob. of Pavlak is caught in the shorts of Sabota, which is brought to the referee's attention. Good sportsmanship there from Pavlak as well, though. I'd really like to see Pavlak get his, uh, get his shoulders on the fence and start to work up. If nothing else, it, it, it holds your opponent's aggression with the, with the ground and pound because they've got to then think about holding you down. He's the good thing about ground and pound is it, it creates windows for the guy on the bottom to stand up. And, uh, and a lot... Oh! Here we go, nice scramble. Peter Sabota reclaims the top position, though. Well, this is the thing, though. Dan Sabota's forcing Pavlak into very much defensive mode right now. Last 45 seconds of round number two. As these two welterweights do battle in the octagon. The crowd urging on the German fellow. Still working that guard pass. It's almost like Zabota's coming here to prove that he can uh, they can fight at all ranges. He had the first round of the striking, and now he's got the uh, the ground and pound of the second round. Yeah, and he's been doing good, consistent work whilst on the ground. Hi. Well, that was interesting. Then. Hi. That must look like a. Uh, don't use the head. The use okay. of the head. Stay there. Okay, go. Just a warning, though, from Leon Roberts. Obviously, didn't deem it an intentional foul, Dan. No. Sometimes, the, sometimes you. Uh, sometimes these things happen, and you, you, the referee can usually well, tell whether it's intentional. Be careful, well, be careful with that. I don't think Peter Zabot is the kind of guy that's going to fight dirty. Yeah, perhaps it was a, some defensive momentum which he was trying to uh, avoid a shot or something. Perhaps. I'd have to look at the replay to, to be able to tell for sure, but uh, no damage was done and, and Leon Roberts picked up on it straight away and gave him the warning. So Pavlak getting his nose tended to is a little bit of a bloody mess at the moment, Dan. He found himself on the back. After a very it's nice takedown there from Sabata. Really, really nice takedown. Didn't get it straight away. Really good defensive movement from uh, from Pavlak, but he just continued to drive through until his opponent was on the floor. And here we can see the, the persistent try, uh, guard passing attempt and ground and pound of Peter Sabata. Yeah. You told him. Still didn't get a good look at that, uh, that accidental headbutt there. Right back over there, Peter. Right back. Well, the crowd. Are out of their seats here in Berlin. Okay, third and final. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Three and a half, come on. As we're all set for the third and final round, the homecoming of Peter Sabota. Will it be a celebrated one for his German following? Or can Pavlak really put together something special in the third round? Might as well take some risks and put it on the line now, John. In my opinion, he's two rounds down and he, he really needs to do something special now. He's going to need a finish, in my opinion. Looks for the head kick there. Peter Sabota's head movements improved massively. He's, he's just moving out of range and then fires far with an aggressive combination. Bit of a Vitor Belfort flurry there. Yeah, nice to see some flurries from Sabota. Really proving to us that he's way more than just a grappler this evening.
four TKO wins to his credit. Sabata did say that he didn't believe that Pat Black had the power to knock him out or the skills to beat him on the ground. So he was very confident oh. coming into this. Marley duck under and takes it straight back down to the mat. The timing on that level change was unreal, John. And here he is again in the in the, in the guard position, working a pass, butterfly guard at the moment. This is what I wanted to see Pavlik doing in the second round, trying to get his shoulders to the fence and, and walk up, try and use that as a, almost like a like a third limb to push into and, and drive himself back to his feet, which he has done. Peter Sabata looking for the outside reap there. Good head position from Sabata in the clinch as well. Good work from Pavlak to get back to a, a better position, but Sabata's really working hard on that single. He did well to stay balanced then, but now he's back on the now he's back on his back. The bot is really Watch those grinding elbows this down round Keep them clean. Looking for that guard pass again. Progresses to half guard. And some short, nice elbows to the legs there. Not going to do a great deal to affect the fight to, at this late point, but uh, still fairly painful, I would say. Spartan like cries ringing around the. <laughs> O2 World here in Berlin. 300 was one of my five day movies, John. I always used to watch that, it gets me fired up. Well, it's certainly helping Sabata. But are there four or against him? <laughs> one thing that Pavlak is doing he is, de he is demonstrating a very good defensive butterfly guard. He's, he had his guard pass for a well, second, he was saying half work. guard, and, and now he's managed to escape and, and, uh, and get that butterfly hook back in. The butter again grinds his way through to half guard. And from being around the European scene, we it almost we almost feel like sabata has been around a very long time and might be of more senior years. He's just 27, however. Got that opportunity, his first opportunity with this UFC very early on. And it's not like he was particularly outclassed. He was just beaten in the fights. He, he wasn't. Uh, he's never been stopped with strikes. He wasn't submitted in any of his UFC fights. So. It really he just didn't have the, the technical ability and, and, and perhaps the physicality to compete at that time But we can see I mean, I, I can certainly tell a difference in his physique He looks a, a decent bit stronger than he has been in the past and obviously his technique is, uh, is flourishing and With his lifestyle much more focused towards his fight career and mixed martial arts as well with his gym That focus can really let you, you see flourish here, I'm gonna stand you up and see more than just those elbows Leon Roberts threatening to stand this fight back up. Sabata still doing good attritional work here. Peppering away at Pavlak. Okay, bro. Oh. The referee stands him up. We've got 20 seconds, John. 20 seconds for Pavlak to really yeah, turn this me. around. Fight. No lack of concentration here. Last 10. He's trying, John, but he really looks too tired to do any damage right now. Good effort, though. Good show of heart in the end. Oh. Good flurry to finish. Really nice work there from Peter Zabata. Very tough. Pavel Pavlak was on the end of quite a lot of wrestling and ground and pound. Nothing too heavy, but... Pits the butter really just breaking, did break him down through three rounds there. He did. Good, good demonstration of his mixed martial arts there. So here we go with the, uh, the the body kicks, as you can see. Landed them really well, and then the outside low kick that he used quite a lot to upset his opponent's balance. And that aggressive pushing forward, we've not really seen a lot of success with that in the past, but that level change was really, really nice. Got the pinch the legs together, put his opponent on his back. Right. With the official decisions, it's over to Andy Friedlander.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The winner by unanimous decision, Peter Zell!